welcome to the channel okay so here as you may already may know and if you don't know then i use upcloud i use upcloud as my service provider for my vps my virtual private server which they are great but they are they are pricey really good quality server the services for upcloud are great and if you're new to upcloud i'll have the link in the description in up for upcloud and so I'm going to slowly migrate from UpCloud to another alternative BPS, which is a great one I heard, but the reliability score isn't as high, but it's still, it's more enticing into the performance isn't as high as UpCloud, but financially speaking, it's a contender. Affordability comes into question as well as one of the key points for me for choosing this particular VPS. You'll see the amount of servers that I currently have. At this moment in time, I currently have maxed out the amount of servers that you can possibly have per account. So, which is 20 servers per account. So let's now check on the amount that I'm currently being billed for. So as you can see, it's a daily use is at $3.57 per day. Assuming we're doing it for a month at this current rate, full maxed out. 20 nodes running 24 7 for 31 days the total amount will be 110 67 cents which is crazy and so which i will definitely start to lower my charges through upcloud in which i recommend ragnar if you haven't heard about them the link will be in the description in which you may see and view them. It's a much better option in order to conserve funds in this bear market. And so which here you have the option to choose the plan for Rack Nerd to run pre-search nodes 24 seven. And the link will be in the description for Rack Nerd as well. So here we have the first plan of, and the price is $22.99 per year. There's one of the second best prices now you can get at this moment in time which is a dollar and 91 cents per month and the other price would be from flux so currently i won't do flux because they're currently having issues uh, i'm not sure if they're reoccurring but they do have some technical issues going offline and that's something i do not wish to endure so i'm gonna order now get that into my shopping cart so it'll look like this and then you make sure you have the right one. You go to VPS here, then you go to KVM VPS. So here we have the first plan of, and the price is $22.99 per year. So I'm gonna order now. I'm gonna change the operating system. I'm gonna choose Ubuntu. Go to Ubuntu 18.04 with Docker pre-installed. Then just click on continue. And then you'll see it here, $22.99 USD. Uh, the billing cycle is annually. Then just click on checkout and then you click on the type payment method could be paypal credit card or crypto whichever you prefer wire transfer in this case i'll just be choosing a card click on the box below and then i'll just complete my order for the amount due then you'll get an invoice an unpaid invoice and you click on the green one green and you click on it then if you ever pre already pre saved you put input your payment information so which i'll currently do at this moment in time submit payment and then you once you get your order confirmation you're ready to set up your vps and you'll receive an instant email from rack nerds once your payment has been successfully confirmed then once you do that you go to your email then you'll receive your email the first one is just unpaid email just letting you know just ignore that one and then you get a second email regarding of your payment so which is your paid invoice which i do i just simply put it in a folder that i created from my email and just organize it in there then your third email will be just pretty much in letting you know the details of your service that you have with rack nerd which is your payment invoice information as well as your the services that they're providing to you and so it does take about some time maybe well, allow up to 15 minutes once you receive your order confirmation to have your server set up and ready to go so on your fourth email you'll receive your information to sign in in onto your server and i'll demonstrate it on in this video and so now if you're using a, a mac i'll show you that you will use go on search click on prot terminal which is there and then once you have that what you're going to do is put ssh 
space root at then you go to your email and copy the IP address it will be blurred for you but you input your IP address from the email that you'll get at the end which is your fourth email which will have your KVM VPS order with the server details so you'll copy your IP address and input it into the terminal command V command Victor and then you click enter and if it's your first time then you it's gonna ask you if you want to connect you're gonna type in yes then enter and then it's gonna ask you for the password so then you go back to your email which is your root password copy that command C this is how I like to do it I like to highlight it and then just click command cake so command C and then you go to your terminal and you're gonna click on the key then you paste it you won't see it but it's there and then you click enter and then once you do that you're ready to do the final part you go to your pre-search dashboard and then go in your top right hand corner click on it's on the three stripes just hover over the three stripes and go where it says launch node launch a node click on that or what i like to do is open a new tab which makes it much easier and simpler so once you have your new tab open go to your new open tab and where it says it's easy to get started go to number three node start commands click on that and then it'll take you here and once you're here you scroll down and if you're using a mac or raspberry pi go on here and copy it and once you copy it make sure no spaces copy it and go to i have two different ways in which i noticed to make it 100% accurate the first time go to your notes your notes and paste it and delete the spaces then what you do now is go to your pre-search dashboard in which you saved your tab go back there you'll copy your node registration code so which is here and just all you have to do is copy click on copy once you do that go back to your notepad and where it says registration code after the equals you highlight that no spaces once it's highlighted where it says dollar sign your registration code here you highlight that and command v as in victor we paste your code there and copy the entire command and once you copy it i noticed that when you do it with a notepad the font actually is different so another way to do it is open messages if you have it then you'll go to your pretty much send it to yourself and then paste it and then i'm going to just send it to myself and enter and then what I do, since the font here is all the same, so you copy it from your iMessage, what, the one that you sent to yourself. I've already done it previously, so that i done before. Notepad, go to back to your terminal, click on, I'm just gonna copy all this. And then paste it, because when you put an iMessage, it clears out all the different size fonts and puts it into one. And then you go back to your terminal and then you paste it and then you enter press enter and wait for it to load you got all green and now it's connecting listening for searches description for the rack nerd oh, it's right here already that's fast so what i'll do is just copy this because it's going to basically be the same second no description which is that one so I'm not going to stake yet, so I'm going to first just paste the description. This is going to take node 27, node 28, and that's currently going to just save it because I still have to unstake for node 27 and 28. And go back, go to node 27, which is here, and unstake it to zero name this one so now and make sure i don't get emails and update it and yes i understand i'll be unsticking my this node was previously grandfathered in but i'm just going to combine it into one so two nodes into one continue and then i'll now go to node 28 
equal to that one once I find it, do the same thing as I previously done. Zero, name it so I know, and then uncheck the email and save and continue. Same one as before, and then go back. Then I have to go to upcloud and also make sure so I'm not getting charged for not. Okay, so let me go. So I'm gonna go to 27 and 28. I'll shut down since it's no longer being used at this moment in time. Since I unstaked, so now I'm, let me go back to my freshly, my new node that I've done, which is currently the sixth node from Rack Nerd. Now I just have to find it. Oh, I think it's this one here. Oh yeah, 27, yeah, 20, okay, I completely forgot to also update this one, the sixth node. So there's 4,000 staked, so now I'm going to update the stake amount and update it as the sixth node for Rack Nerd, replacing node 27 and 28, combining into one. So now it's successfully staked. I'll go back, go back to upcloud, click on server 27. Now I'm going to delete it off of upcloud. And do the same with node with server 28. Delete it. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you in any way. And then now, I've previously done others as well. These two I'll leave for now, since Europe. Uh, all these these I'll leave for now, since if you see my previous video, you will know why. The link in the description for that. And then now I'll go to billing, and I pretty much drastically decrease my my daily use amount to 36 per day my daily use to 36 cents so it was high it was higher before but now i'm cracking down on expenditures i'm cracking down on expenditures that if i can save i will and that's what i'm currently doing at this moment in time and letting you know that you have an option to do so as well so now that i staked my rack nerd my six can okay, now i can also delete Note 20, note 25. I'll know I can delete safely now, and then note 26, the ones that are currently already done. I'll delete those because those were my previous. I did that already. I'm just doing this one so my members and subscribers, as well as my viewers, may know about this. So now this is my 27th. I don't have none none staked. Before, always make sure before you delete it, you make sure there's unstaked and not in service, not online. So I'll delete node 27. And do the same thing through node 28, which is the top one here. Delete that one, no longer in use. And now the new one that I currently have done, which is node 27. It's currently at zero since I just started within 25 seconds ago, I believe. And yeah, it's currently in the US. In the pool north american pool and a little bit there as you can see here the ones i've done already previously i combined the ones for node 25 and 26 it's now with the fifth node here i'm combining the two into one node here so 23rd and 24th 23rd and 24th node into one which is the fourth one and so on yeah, and i also have an update video on this uh results and see and, and show you the results how much you earn and i'll post it here Hope this video helped letting you know that how you can save, especially now in this bear market, by just simply updating your VPS. But yeah, when savings is important, the cost matters. And subscribe for more research videos like these. I also have in the works. I will also mention it and I'll link it in the description as well. So you may be aware and up to date. Don't forget to like this video if it helped you in any way. And keep you informed in pre-search. Thanks for watching.